Hey guys, this is me Chili here with a Red Dead Redemption 2 video. If you enjoy the video, rob a bank and hold everyone hostage. Threaten to end them all if they don't subscribe to Chili's Cheesecake, and if they don't subscribe, you know what needs to be done. Anyways, I was scrolling through YouTube instead of spending time with my family this Thanksgiving when I realized I needed to start looking for another stupid challenge to do. So I spent hours brainstorming ideas to create original content. Not really, I saw a video by Sony Evans where he carries a bull stew across the map. To be fair, however, I didn't exactly rip off his content, I just put a spin on it. Anyways, I've been talking on my ass for a bit now, and if you don't understand what I'm saying, you probably aren't alone. At first my plan was to carry a bucket of water across the map, but after walking for a bit the chore canceled, which meant that I wouldn't be able to get across the map, let alone off the property. At that point I figured it was just a lost cause and gave up, like my teachers with my anger management classes in elementary school. After giving up on the bucket, I looked in the different frontiers, most importantly New Austin. At this point I decided I'd be trying to carry a dead body across the map, but instead of using humans, fuck. At this point I decided I'd be trying to carry a dead body across the map, but instead of using humans, I used a more vegan method and used pronghorns, which are local to the area that I would be starting in. So after hunting one with precision, as you can probably tell by my 1 star rating, I began my journey across the map. It didn't take me long to get to a railroad which I would take up to Armadillo, however during this part of the journey I realized I'm a complete idiot. Due to the fact that I'm apparently a noob and didn't realize that bodies will begin to rot after you kill them, which proved problematic since John is a pussy and won't carry around rotten bodies. Should have seen this coming, John is the inferior character, I looked into it more and realized I wouldn't be able to complete the challenge unless I used a human, preferably alive. I currently have recorded the challenge where I kidnapped someone and me across the map, so if you're interested make sure to subscribe. Anyways, I wasn't ready to deal with that kind of stress yet, so I took the easier approach and like a teenage mom dumped the idea off of my family so I wouldn't have to deal with it myself. When I was trying to carry a dead body across the map, I thought of the idea of crouching instead of carrying shit, and when the challenge I was attempting went down the soup bowl in the outhouse, I realized it was its time to shine. So I set off on the most intense leg day ever, attempting to crouch across the map. As I set off on my first attempt, I think I should let you know the rules of this challenge. The first rule is that I cannot move while standing. I can move while crouching, but not standing. The second rule to emphasize on the first rule is that I can only move while crouching. This means I can't hitch a ride on a train or a wagon. Also, like all Red Dead challenges I'm going to be doing, no map for extra fun. Anyways, the first attempt I did was going alright, but on the railroad tracks on my way to Armadillo, I accidentally pushed the crouch button while moving, which meant that I stood up making me restart. A crappy start, but I knew there would be obstacles. To give some context, there were more challenges than me just being a dumbass. If you walk past someone while speed crouching, you stand up. Wild animals love to eat you, and so do people. Attempt number two. This time I made it much further than before. I snuck along a railroad past Armadillo and was on my way to Blackwater. In the last challenge, I went in first person, which makes your character stand up while you're sneaking running on the railroad for some odd reason. This time I remained in third person, and although slower, it's much safer and more reliable. Perfect for this challenge. After passing Armadillo, I came across something I previously mentioned the fact that sneak running past people blows your cover. I didn't fail for this reason, however, it was of course because I'm a dumbass. I was watching a live stream and not paying attention, so when I was readjusting for my normal. I hit the crouch button again, which made me stand up and fuck myself over. Third attempt, I took the railway past Armadillo, same route. I made my way to another railroad near Blackwater. This wasn't really as useful as I thought it would be, but it worked for getting me close to the Blackwater, so it wasn't all that much of a loss. Due to the fact I don't have the map, the area between Armadillo and Blackwater is very confusing and I got lost relatively quickly. I spent a lot of time here that I think could have been avoided if I would have been a little bit less stupid. I eventually found a road in the Blackwater, which got me out of that mess. As I made my way into town like your creepy uncle makes his way into your sister's room, lantern in hand, I got my bearings. I knew the river was easily accessible past town and the river can be crossed. Although I didn't go down the main road, I passed a few people talking who didn't pay attention to me because I'm a sneaky fellow. Passing through town, I made my way down to the river to try and cross. The water was too deep in most areas, but if you go to the area that you save Sean in the story, you can sneak across just like in the actual mission. I should probably put spoiler warnings, but if you haven't played the game yet, I'm probably not the first to spoil it for you. I made my way up through the canyon crossing the second river shortly after. There is however one more river and the fastest way to cross is to take the railroad tracks. There are probably safer ways of going about this, but those would take me an hour on my way easily and what is a challenge without a gamble? Unfortunately I am a terrible gambler and have the worst luck ever. I could see the train go before me so I figured that I would have plenty of time before another came through. Halfway across however I realized I should have folded the last hand. By the time I noticed the train I could have probably turned back around but rather I decided to keep going forth. YOLO. Halfway, the train was on top of me, insert joke, so I hugged the side of the bridge. The train went past and it looks like it was all good, except I have terrible luck and get belted by that fucking extra wide carriage, which sent me rolling. Luckily, I didn't fall off or die, but perhaps the most tragic event in 2020 compared to Corona, the Black Lives Matter movement, and everything else that's happened this year, I lost my hat. If we could have a rip in the chat to commemorate Mr. Hat, that would be greatly appreciated. I made my way past the bridge following the railroad. 
The railroad goes straight to Santini, meaning that the rest of this trip is literally straightforward. Only a complete and utter idiot could fail now, it would take a disaster for me to fuck this up. I continued my slow march to Santini, passing railway stations, rolling hills, beautiful lakes, and expansive forests. At one point it looked like thunder was above Santini, but due to the back of an alpha male, it ran away as I continued forward. I could tell I was in Lemoyne County when I passed the cotton fields. Lemoyne County is home to some of the most dangerous creatures in the game. Full of gators, hillbillies, racists, and swamps, it sounds and looks suspiciously like Florida. If the memes about Florida Man weren't enough, well let me tell you Lemoyne isn't the best place unless you're looking for a shitty Reddit post. Luckily I was on the railroad, which meant that as long as the train didn't come through, I could mostly pass the swamps, meaning that anything could happen at this point. I could see the factories of Santini, but one more obstacle landed in the way. A wagon was being held up by the Lemoyne Raiders, a bunch of confederates who don't want to abandon the old ways of fucking their cousins. But I wish I could let them know that it never actually stopped. On a normal day I would shoot him, but this challenge doesn't allow weapons, so I steer clear of him. As I get back on the track, I noticed my favorite serial killer area. It's an abandoned railway area of sorts, and when I first got the game, I loved nothing more than kidnapping NPCs and torturing them there. Nowadays, I find it much more fun to do in real life, meaning that I spend less time on my Xbox and live a healthier life overall. Highly recommend 10 out of 10. With the last turtle complete, I made my way into Santini. By the way, there is an alligator proof they exist. I almost got ran over by a trolley car, which would probably hurt, but because I'm an epic gamer, not because it rang a bell at me, I dodge and make my way across the street to the saloon, bringing this challenge to a close. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and even more importantly, share with someone you think will also enjoy to help spread the channel. I'm going to be kidnapping people soon, so make sure to be on the lookout for that. I'll see you on the next video and hit that goddamn motherfucking like button.